Hey everybody, Brian from quantlabs.net. I am going to show you some something really annoying in uh, the world of PyCharm, the IDE, Integrated Development Environment, versus another one which I just downloaded under recommendations from other people. So let me just show you what I mean. The code I'm about to show you is from this book here called Python for Finance. This book I've gone through it looks pretty good. Um, despite there's quite a few negative reviews, but it looks pretty good to base anything really extensive off of Python. But that's not the point of the video. But this is where the um, this little simple source code comes from. What we have here is we've got some very simple um, lines here, um, and all we're going to do is just import NumPy, import pandas. In point, import this web reader, uh, which will download the, uh, these these assets, this GSPC, which is the SP 500 from Yahoo as a source with this date range. And at the same time, you can then plot the um, this data, and that's it. But watch what happens when I run this under PyCharm. This is not all that impressive. So there's no module named pandas. Okay. Um, if I step through it, it will start to bring back some bizarre things. And um, I've been looking at this for a couple of hours, a variety of things. Um, but uh, it's, it's not that consistent. Now, I do want to show you the same code running in my... Python interpreter. Now nothing's changed. There's only one version of Python in here, but uh, this is a really annoying part of PyCharm. So let me just continue with the imports. There's a warning. I think this may be affiliated, but I'm going to show you something that will handle it better than what you'll find in in uh, PyCharm. So back to my terminal. Okay, so we're gonna throw this fourth line in to download the data, which works. And then here, this won't plot everything as I want for whatever reason. But guess what? There is an alternative out there. Now, this has been recommended to me. Um, just give me a second here. Let me just uh, break. Python interpreter here. Okay, so we've got that force quit. Now, that's uh, PyCharm. There is another alternative out there that I've been recommended for uh, another tool is using Spider, which is another IDE. Now, I've not really played with this enough, but it's a weird installation. Um, I can't really go beyond that, um, but uh, I have, I'm have. i going to give this a whirl. Now, when you do install it, let's say for Mac, it's weird because you have to come under your, um, use your user account. So that would be, in my case, username quantlabs.net. And then in here, when they do install it, it comes under and like under your default home directory under Anaconda, but it will not load in the launcher. It will not load in the Python, which is the spider. So in this case, I've got launcher running no problem, as you can see here. Now the nice thing about Anaconda, which has again been recommended for me by various. Um, more advanced users in in uh, Python. Now it's just it's it's I don't know what's going on here. Let me just try this one. I think that's probably the problem. I've got another um, session running on it. Okay, so these are the default apps that you get um, when you install it. You get the IPython note, the key to key console. So these are uh, you can launch these. At default, as you can see here, um, I'm not sure how this works too much with the Jupyter or whatever it is, um, but you can 
do something once you get it. And that's how you learn that the hard way. But uh, the one you should really pay attention to is actually I'll show you the my Python Q2 console is not the one I just launched. Uh, yes, this is the Q2 console, so you can do. I'm come from the world of MATLAB with MuPath, which is very similar. IPython is pretty popular when you're doing your research. And um, so in my case, if I run this code, um, it will embed the chart into the IPython. Let's see if this will work. No. Okay, let me try this different way. This code. Now, this code again is from that book I just talked about, page 73. Very basic stuff. It's this one we want. Okay. I'm sure there is a line in here that I need to put. Book reference. I forget there's a way to launch each line in a tab or something. Now I have to put tab. Okay, well that did something. So let me try this guy. Enter. Okay, accepted it. Now we're going to try to do the plot. Font access out doesn't look like it is the variables you can embed the plot into the IPython for whatever reason. Okay, I'm not going to sweat over it. Okay, but let's now launch the the um, the this IDE called Spider. This apparently is fairly popular among Kaggle users. So um, let me log back on my ranch. This one. Okay, so here we are. This is exactly the same code as you'll find from here in my in my uh, PyCharm. Now here is our interface to the console. So you can see it, it, it does plot, but uh, let's give this a little load here. There we go. So it's running. And it does plot the, um, not sure how we can um, manipulate this kind of early, uh, but uh, I'll figure it out. Um, and uh, go from there. But the key point takeaway here is why is this not working in PyCharm? Works okay in my Anaconda or this, uh, spider but I had numerous problems with PyCharm well not numerous but two other problems um, regarding these lines here or the pandas and I have no idea this was just updated last night to uh, version 5.05 I think it was or something like that See PyCharm by PyCharm. So this is 5.03. It was updated and it's just been nothing but a problem since I've updated it. I've had the same problem with C line, which uh, JetBrains also makes. Um, it's kind of, I've not had a problem with um, the PyCharm up until now for about six weeks, but this new version just seems to be pretty um, not working for whatever reason. Here, um, I'm going to try out some other scripts and uh, see if they run. Actually, I could try that right now. Why don't we do that already? Okay, so let me open up some of my other scripts here and see if they run. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't want to um, process this one. So let's say I think uh, I could try this one. So, yeah, let's try this one in the spider. Okay. Um, 
me if I run this as is, this should run. process uh, header. Fuck that. <laughs> oh fuck. Pretty bad. Okay, let's just give this a whirl, see if this will work. No such oh. Okay. Um error line two. Well, um, let's just leave it at this, that there is definitely a problem with PyCharm, it seems, that it can run no problem in the interpreter, it seems to run no problem in the spider here. So I may just continue using spider versus anaconda. Don't ask me why, I don't really care about PyCharm. These, these are the problems I'm going to get. Uh, just so people know there's alternatives out there. Have a good day.